from Eldridge, March 2nd, 1997, Byron Bay. Interview with Mary McMullen. Okay, Mary, we're rolling. Hi, my name's Mary McMullen, and I, uh, I like meeting people and going to parties and, um... Oh, I don't know if I can do this, Malcolm. This is stupid. It's okay, Mary. You're fine. Just take your time and start again. But I don't know what to say. Okay. What if I ask you a question? Will that make you feel better? Mm, yeah, I suppose so. All right. Where did you first hear about Immaculate Conception, Mary? Well, I first heard about Immaculate Conception at school. I went to a Catholic school, of course. St Agnes's in Rudy Hill. St Agnes was the patron saint of... Shit, I've forgotten. Dildos, we used to say at school, that's right. Me and my friends reckon that St Agnes was the patron saint of dildos. We all reckon there was quite a bit of dildo swapping between the nuns on those cold winter nights at the convent. We used to hear the batteries whirring late at night while we were trying to sleep in the dormitory. No, I shouldn't say that about the nuns. They were all really lovely women, a bit strict, but really nice. The battery whirring we heard at night was probably just Sister Augustine blending up some soup for the next day or something. Yeah, we were all really naughty at school. Some great girls there. Anyway, I guess I can't blame the nuns for getting lonely. Even Rita Donahue and me used to snuggle up in bed together at night. Once, we even slept in, and the mother herself comes in and springs us in bed together in the morning. Well, Rita just said she must have been sleepwalking, and the mother actually believed her. Oh, mate, she was a hell bullshit artist, Rita. Yeah, we were all really naughty at school. We used to smoke ciggies down in the grotto of the Immaculate Conception, in the grounds of the school. That's where I first heard about it, actually. I was just talking with Mia Smith about boys, you know, about doing it and that, and getting preggers and all, when Mia just suddenly points to the statue of the Virgin and says, they reckon Mary was a virgin when she got pregnant with Jesus. Oh, what? I asked her. Didn't know what she was talking about. Yeah, they reckon Mary had an Immaculate Conception. What's that? Oh, mate, I didn't have a clue what she was on about. That's when you get pregnant without doing it, Mary. Oh, bullshit me, it was all I could say. Then we just both cracked up laughing and that was that. I completely forgot about it for years. Then, when I found out that I was pregnant with Star, I started thinking. I started thinking about how I'd slept with Tony Royce, only once, mind you, after this hell party at Mia's parents' house. And it was like 11 months. 11 months, mind you, before the day that Star was born. And then I start thinking about how I slept with Wayne Crafers, only once, mind you, at his flat. And that was seven months, seven months, mind you, before the day that Star was born. Then, a couple of weeks later, right, I missed my period. So I just went to the doctors to have a preggy test. He tells me that I'm nearly three months pregnant. Three months, mind you. So that's when I thought that it couldn't have been Tony Royce's or Wayne Crafer's. So who could it have been? It's only after Star was born that I began thinking that I must have had an immaculate conception. But you know, like, I can't think why God's chosen me, because I've been a really bad girl. I slept with over 40 guys, had lots and lots of drugs, and I've been pissed heaps of times. So I really can't think why God's chosen me. Hang on. You right there, darling? Yeah, it's okay. You know, there's no way that Star's gonna be crucified. Absolutely no way, Jose. He's gonna be more like the sun god, you know? And radiate love and happiness, just like the sun radiates heat and light. When I told the doctor about all this, he asked me if I'd been hearing voices and stuff like that. When I told him it couldn't have been Wayne Crapers or Tony Royce's, he just said, well, that's probably right. Just like that. Well, that's probably right. Then he put me on these little blue pills, man, made me feel shit ass. So I just flushed them down the toilet and decided right there and then that I'll just shut up about my immaculate conception. It's only getting me into trouble. I suppose the Mother Virgin Mary must have had a similar problem with no one believing her and all. Oh, that's my friend Kay. Hi, Kay. She's Hi, an man. artist. Yeah. 
She's an older woman, much older than me, and she believes me, don't you, Kay? Sure do, honey. Yeah, she may be something really nice. I'll show it to you after. Anyway, I'll tell you a little bit more about myself, me being the first Immaculate Conception mother since the mother of Jesus. I really like Madonna. She's my favourite singer. Yeah, guess you know why. I always wear rosary beads around my neck. <laughs>